Hey folks, for this week's Vintage Baseball Car of the Week, I want to talk about the 1973 Topps Pat Corrales number 542. You know, there's a great baseball card podcast out there called Wax Ecstatic, and I highly recommend it. I'm going to put a link down below of the episode that deals with 1973 Topps. And in that episode, Matt Salmon talks about how in 1973 Topps was really trying to be creative with their action shots. They'd only started doing action photography in 1971, and they wanted to, I think, kind of up their game a little bit. So they had uh, quite a few action shots in 73 tops. Some were great, like this one, and some were not so good. I'm going to show some of those images now. Um, kind of mixed results. I don't know that the technology back then was really up to the task of producing great action photography. Now, this is an example on a tops card that uh, the picture is not exactly what really happened in the actual play. This was taken on June 14th, 1972. And the player uh, at home plate is actually Ferguson Jenkins, number 31. And this took place in the bottom of the second inning when he tried to score from second base on a double by Don Kessinger. Uh, fortunately, on YouTube, there's an actual video of this play, which I'm going to roll in a second. It's a great documentary called King of the Hill, which I'll put the link for down below. And I really would encourage you guys to watch if you're interested in early 70s baseball. But here's the clip now. It's a base hit. Berkey on second, heading for third. And it looks like he's going to try for the plate. He is. It's going to be close. The throw beats him in. He hits the dirt. He is out of the corner. And Berkey may have hurt himself on that one. So you can see from the actual play that it looked like Jenkins was probably more hurt than Corrales. Uh, Corrales got right up immediately. And in fact, it doesn't even look like they collided. It looks like Corrales may have even missed him with a tag. I, in fact, if there was a replay, I bet Jenkins would probably have been called safe. It looks like uh, Corrales missed the tag. And it turned out that Jenkins actually kind of hurt his leg uh, or knee on this play. Um, this happened in the bottom of the second inning, and he actually continued to pitch and pitched into the six, through the sixth inning of that game that the Cubs won. So that's the Vintage Baseball Car of the Week for this week. Let me know if you have any thoughts, comments, or recollections about 73 Tops. And collect what you love.